Now that's annoying. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to barbecue a pineapple of all things. Here's the pineapple. And before we barbecue it, obviously we have to cut it. Now there's an easy way and a hard way. We're going to try the easy way. We're not drunk enough to do the hard way yet. So the first thing you want to do is you want to cut a slice off the bottom for a couple of reasons. Number one, once you cut it, you should have it nice and flat on the bottom so that it'll stand, which makes it a whole lot easier because then what you're going to do is start shaving off the side. Now you don't want to cut too much of the meat, but you definitely need to cut off the skin. So you start cutting it like this. Don't worry about the eyes. I'll show you what to do with those in the next part of the procedure. Just start cutting it all the way around. And you'll notice I haven't cut the top off because it makes it easier to handle the beastie. You got something to hang on to. We'll cut this off when we're done. And again, the trick is to get off as much of the outer portion as you can without cutting into too much of the good fruit. All right. And don't worry if there's a couple of pieces down there. We'll get that later on. Now you'll notice the way the eyes line up diagonally, okay? What you want to do to get the eyes out is you just simply push it in a little bit. Just like so, it'll pop right out. And you just follow that all the way around the pineapple. So give me a few minutes and we'll show you how to do the entire pineapple. Arr, 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 matey. All right, mateys. All right. right. So look at it, nice spiral cut. Now, what, if you had a rotisserie, which we don't, you can actually just cut the top off, put the skewer through it, and barbecue it in one shot. But since we don't have one of those little suckers, what we're going to do is we're going to slice it down and we're going to cook it in rounds. So all you basically do is just take it, lay it on the side, and just slice it through. And try not to drop it on the floor. That's Dave's piece. Yeah, flavor. The new flavor wedge. All right, and next we're going to put it in our little Miracle rum sauce mix, and we're going to let it absorb some of the rum, and then we're going to throw it onto the barbie. Sauce. Do it again. Okay. Now we're going to make our special. No, do it again. Now we're going to make our special rum sauce for the pineapple. So to do that, you take a half a cup of rum, you take a couple of cups of uh, a couple of cups, a couple of tablespoons of melted butter. I've got some here. You also take a half a cup of brown sugar, and probably about half a teaspoon of vanilla and then we're just going to mix it all in until we make a nice little syrup and then we're going to take our pineapples and we're just going to dredge them through this and we're going to throw them on top of the barbecue and don't worry if all the butter doesn't get incorporated because we're actually going to heat up the rest of the sauce afterwards anyway to drizzle on top of our pineapple with ice cream all right and we just take Take these bad boys and just put them right in the right in the sauce. Pick them up. We're not. The the slippery little devils, kind of like my brother. <laughs> no. No. And one more. And one more. But the last one's going to be the one. There we go. All right. On to the barbecue, or actually grill. All right, let's go. Sure, we're going. All right. All right. Kind of like pineapple upside down cake without the cake. You can make it stand up if you want to. And of course, you don't want to have the flame on too high because rum is Fla flammable. flammable. <laughs> like that. It's like the 4th of July. You turn them off, you know. Nah, that's okay. You don't want to turn them off. You did. Oh, did I? <laughs> well, just make sure you hit the button now. They're on. That wasn't the point. They are? Yeah. Oh, they go. <laughs> I mean, if not, we're really going to blow the top off this dessert. There we go. All right. What we're going to do is we're just going to let these things grill for 
What do you think? A couple of minutes aside? Well, well, I'll do too much. Yeah. yeah, maybe maybe about three minutes each side, and then we're going to take them off. We're going to put them on our plate. We're going to serve them up with not only the rum sauce, but also with some ice cream. So it's a nice dessert. We'll be right back. All right. Drum roll, please. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right. Beautiful thing I want to get in on these. Aren't those lovely? Isn't and she if lovely? You, and if you are the type of person that likes pineapple upside down cake, I guarantee you're going to like this because that's basically what this tastes like. And what we're going to do is instead of putting the cake on them, we're going to go even one better. We're going to put ice cream on them and then some of our rum gravy. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, we're putting the ice cream on it. And then the last thing you do is drizzle a little bit of our rum gravy and there, there she blows good eats from man cave munchies what do you think Joe's a really suck or what this is really really good guys really really good the combination of the of the pineapple with the with the um, double fudge brownie ice cream and the rum sauce is absolutely amazing the the taste is just it's a symphony it's a symphony of flavors pineapplelicious pineapplelicious all right and you can see Dave hates it. Barely touched it. He's doing a pan dance. Doing a pan dance.